Okay, what we have here is one of my most indispensable tools for working on a Bolex. This is an old Bolex body that I hacksawed and filed so that I can assemble a Bolex, all the pieces including the turret, load film in it, pressure plate and all, and then see how my newly assembled machine runs because the most difficult part is getting this governor to work correctly that's what sets the speed and holds the speed of the bolex so if i assemble the camera in its body and then have to tune the governor i have to totally dismantle the camera again but this way I can drop the governor out of an assembled body with just two screws. Now you can see it run. Now remember it's 21 and a half turns from an unwound Bolex to a wound Bolex and you should not over crank them because they can be damaged. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 1 and a half. So now that's the little ingenious brake governor assembly that makes the Bolex either run at speed till the end of its wind or not. And with this unit, I can remove those two screws and take the governor out and either bend its little springs or file its little brake pads and get the camera to run nicely without having to totally dismantle a camera body again. Once I get it to where I'm happy with the way it's performing, then I can take it out of this skeleton shell here and reassemble it in its final body and send it on its merry way to make someone the next Spielberg.